So we finally make it. The modified air brake kit. Let's see what we have here. An O-ring, a rubber damper, a new design piston head, and two different lengths of the air brake pin. One is the 7mm and one is the 5mm. And the last thing is the speaker for your rubber damper. Okay, so you might ask me a question. Why we make such a short air brake pin while others make the long air brake pin? Well, the answer is very simple. We want it to be quieter, but also we want to maintain the benefit of your muzzle velocity. So instead of the long one, which it might decrease your decibel of the sound, but also a huge drop of your FPS, we decided to use the shorter one to decrease the pitch of the sound and still maintain the FPS of your sniper. And next, I'm going to teach you how to install the air brake kit inside your gun. Here you have your piston and choose the length you want to insert and push it from the back of your piston head. Like this. And then if you have a tool, it's better. But if you don't, instead you can use your muzzle cap and face your piston head downward to the muzzle cap and then use your piston to push the air brake pin inside. Okay, like this. It might be a little hard if you first install the air brake pin because everything is new, but we also want the air seal, right? So it's just some give and take. And then after you do this, and then you can see your air brake pin is installed on your piston. Let's say if you want to change to another lens, you just separate the piston head and your piston facing downward, maybe on the flat surface and use your piston head to push it out. And this is how you take out your air brake pin. The long one is easier to push it out and the short one is a little bit harder. So you might need some tool to poke it out. But just remember, don't use the screw, whether it's cross or flat. Because if you're not careful, the screw might damage your piston head inside and that might cause the air seal problem. Okay, where do you install your rubber damper? There's two places you can install it. The first one is on the bottom of your half up chamber and the second one is on your cylinder head. Using the two side sticker we included in this pack, plug it on and stick your rubber damper on it like this. And if this bothers you when every time you want to access inside your half up chamber, you can just cut it in half. It doesn't affect the function. Okay, the last one, where do you install the O-ring? Well, in, you install it in this hole right here between your front screw and your connector. Simply just push it inside the hole and this might also be a little bit hard if you first install it because you need to squeeze your O-ring inside. Push your front screw inside here and then use your connector to push it inside. Okay, so after you install correctly, the connector should be on this on here. And you just take out your connector. And then you will see the array is perfectly inside this hole and from here i will suggest you not to remove this screw again first if you want to take out this screw it might damage your o-ring and the second one is it's very hard to take it out and this is how you install the modified air brake kit